Welcome guys, we're back again with another tutorial and this time we're just going to be going over the FTP file access, how to get onto it and access your files. So with that, let's open up our internet browsing page, log on to our Multicraft um, control panel on Seekerhost and we're going to be heading over to here which is files and we're going to be heading down to FTP file access. So once you're brought to this screen here, you're going to see it's giving you your address, your port, your username and your Multicraft password. Now there's a few things you can do here, you can obviously log straight in by tapping in your password there and logging in and this is also the information you might need if you use um, stuff like FileZilla to share the files over. Um, so obviously it's going to ask if your FTP address, your FTP port, your FTP username and your password you will know yourself. Um, you can use this same information to log in to FileZilla with uh, but for this video we're just going to be logging in. Um, to the Insight FTP file access. So hit log in there and you can see it's brought us to all of our files on the server. From here we can access anything from behavior packs, uh, the structures, the, your worlds are in here and they're both saved. Uh, this is from two previous tutorials. We've got world and world one and you can access all the files on there. Uh, not, only got, not only that, sorry, we've got a very handy little button here which is edit. So if you do actually need to edit any of the data, um, you can come here, save it, you know, and just uh, play around with that. And as I was saying earlier, if you do need to use that information to log into FileZilla, just simply open up FileZilla. I'll minimize it here. And as you can see on the top right, uh, sorry, on the top of the screen there, you've got host, username, password, and port, which are going to be the same here. So if you type that in, quick connect, you're going to be able to connect to um, all the files on the server using FileZilla. So let's say you do want to actually change something, um, you've come on here, potentially change some of the behavior packs, uh, some kind of world or resource pack, etc. Um, you're going to finish off by saving the actual file. Um, so let me just come into uh, region. So let's say you've edited uh, this part of the region, you then save the file. So once you've saved your files, you just back out onto your main server page and you're going to be hitting restart. Um, everything that you've changed in your configuration files, anything like that will get restarted, rebooted and it will be up on the server now. And if you're not sure what your Multicraft password is, you would have received that when you first brought the server. You would have received it in the email to log on. It will be the same one and you can also change that insight here to something that you'd uh, rather use. And don't forget to check my channel for any other Seeker Host tutorials.